Our Holy There cruisers. cruisers, we put together a list of 12 big mistakes that cruisers always seem to make. Let's see if we can help you save some time and money. But first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it'll be a big mistake if you don't. Yep, so tip number one is not researching the ship properly. Yes, every single ship and every single cruise line caters to a different type of traveller. And if you're the type of person that is looking for a relaxing vacation experience, you don't want to end up on a booze cruise, do you? Absolutely, and there's ships for every type of person. So different strokes for different forks, as they say. So if you don't pick the right cruise line, you could end up on a cruise line that's really not for you. One that's full with families, or, or one that's full with just a lot of mature people and you're a family. So you obviously want to do your research look into the different companies and to the different specific ships to see what activities, entertainment and facilities that they offer. Also the time of year that you sail may bring a different crowd. So if you're sailing during the school holidays you're going to see more families and if you're on short cruises they tend to be a bit more hectic and be a bit more of a booze cruise don't they? Absolutely and we say don't just go for the first cruise that looks really cheap. Make sure you do your research because there might be lots of hidden extra charges such as dining and uh, uh, drinks and things on board that you're going to have to pay afterwards. So mistake number two is booking shore excursions on the ship. Yeah they can be super super expensive you're talking three four times more expensive if you were to book them through a port excursion provider or just do them DIY so just get in a taxi or use a local transportation. The thing is though you've got to make sure you use a reputable company who provides shore excursions to make sure that you get back to the ship well in advance of the time of the leaving the ship because the only only difference between excursions booked on the cruise line and excursions booked off the cruise line is that when you book them on the cruise you're guaranteed to get back so you don't miss your ship that is super super important so make sure you use a company that's going to get you back with plenty of time as port stops are not guaranteed, for example, you may not be able to dock due to bad weather, look for a company that will refund you if you are not able to do your excursion. So mistake number three is traveling to your port departure on the same day of your departure. Yeah, it's a very big risk if you're in the car, there might be traffic on the roads, your plane might be delayed and you don't want to miss the ship because it won't wait for you. We recommend trying to get there the night before and staying in a hotel. Exactly, anything could happen to stop you getting from there and just for peace of mind alone, it's only a few extra dollars to, or pounds to book that hotel room, plus you get an extra night on your holiday. So mistake number four is buying a drinks package when you don't need one. Yeah, these can be super, super expensive. So what we recommend is that you check out how much you would normally drink on a day, find some menus online to see how much the drinks are on your cruise and see if you're actually gonna spend that amount because it can be upwards of $100 per day, which is so expensive and drinks packages are not unlimited on some cruise lines as well sometimes it's limited to sort of 12 15 drinks so you're not going to get your values worth if you're only buying beers and wines and not the really expensive cocktails yeah if you have a drinks package but you're not making your money's worth out of it you feel the need to constantly be getting drinks just so that it's worth the value of money and this is super hard when you're on sort of a week's cruise because drinking every single day to that amount it's really hard work. Yeah, particularly if you've got a lot of ports, you're not gonna be on the ship that much. Yeah. So mistake number five is cruising at the wrong time, in the wrong season. Yeah, so a, the hurricane season can lead to port cancellations and bad weather in the Caribbean. You've got the out of season in Alaska, which can lead to bad weather as gain. And also out of season in the Mediterranean is hit and miss with the weather. You can have sunshine or you can have torrential rain. And holidays as well make a big difference to your cruise as well. So cruising during the kids' holidays, which is in the summer, or during Christmas, or during during big, um, big celebrations like uh, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, things like that. There's gonna be loads and loads of kids and families on board as well. So that can dramatically change the way your cruise is. And obviously during bad weather, you're gonna be having more movement on the ship as well. So if you do suffer from seasickness, it's best to cruise when the weather's a little bit nicer. And number six is not purchasing travel insurance. Yeah, this is a big no-no, guys. You have to buy travel insurance because you could be left with massive fees from the medical center if something was to happen. Touch wood. But yeah, and you've got to make sure your insurance includes full cruise cover for all of the destinations that you're going to be visiting on the cruise. Yeah, you don't want to end up with big medical bills, do you? 
And if you have to cancel your cruise because of circumstances outside of your hands, for example, if you maybe injure yourself before sailing, then you need to have travel insurance to claim your money back because you won't get a refund off the cruise line. Also, it covers other things such as cancelled flights, lost baggage, and all the other travel needs as well. So mistake number seven, and it's a mucky one, is not washing your hands. Yeah, it's really surprising how many times we pe see people leave a bathroom without washing their hands. You need to keep healthy and hygienic on a cruise, so make sure that you wash your hands regularly. And we recommend taking a little portable hand sanitizer just to keep those germs away. Yeah, the amount of people who just bypass the um, wash stations before a buffet is just shocking. And it's not just for your own health as well, guys. It's the health of your family and other people on board. Nobody wants a ruined cruise because of norovirus spreading around the ship. Tip number eight is booking the wrong cabin. Yeah, if you are prone to suffer from motion sickness, the best location for a cabin for you will be towards the middle of the ship and lower downs. That's where you're gonna get the least movement on the ship. And if you are prone to claustrophobia and don't like enclosed spaces, an inside cabin probably isn't for you either. So a balcony cabin where the doors can open is probably gonna be the better choice. Also think about the type of cabin that you book. If you're going to be using the cabin just to sleep and you know, get changed and shower, why not go for an inside cabin and save some money? Or if you go for a balcony cabin, think about are you actually going to be using the balcony? Is it a cold cruise? Will you even be out there? And you could actually save more money by booking an ocean view instead. So mistake number nine is trying to fit everything in and do everything on your first day of the cruise. Yeah, we've done this so many times, guys. Slow down, take your time. You have the whole cruise to enjoy the ship. I know the big ships can be overwhelming. A good tip here is to miss a port that you're not too fussed about or even do a half day in a port because the ship is much quieter while it's docked. Mistake number 10 is not making reservations before you sail. Yeah, you've got to make reservations for loads of things nowadays, especially on the newer, bigger ships. Things like activities. So you've got the a laser quasar, escape rooms, even entertainment. Some ships now make you book shows for the big Broadway style shows. And you can usually do this beforehand on your cruise planner by logging in on your cruise um, line's website or using the app on the phone. But yeah, it's really easy to be disappointed if you don't get in there early, especially with some ships like Disney. They're dining, so they're two dining restaurants on board their ships well on the bigger ships you've got Paolo and Remy book out months in advance so if you want to get in there and get your favorite restaurants make sure you book nice and early so mistake number 11 is saving seats and places for other people this is so annoying what do you think do you agree with us we've seen people save whole rows in a theater and it's not fair you know it is first come first serve we don't mind uh, saving a seat or two that's absolutely fine for your family but like david says when people are saving massive rows it is super super annoying you've got people climbing over you every two seconds yeah. oh same goes for some beds as well now this can be a real big problem and issue with cruising is that people tend to get up really early chuck their towel onto a sunbed and just leave it there all day get the best sunbeds yeah. it's really annoying and what can happen and is happening much more often is the staff are coming around and checking who's been there and who hasn't been there than removing personal belongings and towels we've seen it cause fights and everything haven't yeah, we yeah we've actually seen fights on cruises and we've actually seen people reserving two sunbeds one for the morning and one for the afternoon i'm Crazy. sorry it is just greedy isn't it yeah. and it's not fair it's unfair on your other passengers not good so our final cruise mistake is paying for the wi-fi unless you get a super good deal package guys these are usually really expensive so just stay away from it and let me tell you most of the ships we've been on have awful wi-fi yeah. it is so super slow and so super annoying that it's just not worth the money in the first place you can get free Wi-Fi in ports as well, in your cafes, restaurants, even McDonald's offer free Wi-Fi. Good tip wifi. there. Always look for McDonald's for the free Wi-Fi. Exactly. So you can just save a lot of money and you're on holiday as well. So it's super annoying that you're trying to get online. It's just, it, ship's Wi-Fi is not fantastic, is it? Some, some may be, but yeah. Yeah, it's a big cost. Some charge you per megabyte, some charge you per minute. 
either way, it always ends up costing a fortune. And we've made this mistake so many times, haven't yeah. we? Particularly when we first started cruising. It's so tempting to update your social media, but yeah, it, yeah. it's so, super wanting, slow. Wanting to post every photo. And we're just in the, now, we're just like, look, if we can't get the Wi-Fi at a good price, we're not bothered. It's okay. We'll exactly. catch you in the next port. So guys, that's it for our 12 biggest cruise mistakes. We hope you enjoyed them. Please leave your comments in the section below yeah. of all the biggest mistakes that you've made and we might pop them in our next show. Yeah, we'd love to know if you've made any big cruise mistakes. You can also find us on Instagram where we're posting lots and lots of photos and stories. Instagram.com forward slash cruise with. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. We've got so many amazing videos coming. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.